In this video I'll be unboxing and showing you the Silvercrest stand mixer made by Lidl which is a budget alternative to the more expensive mixers such as KitchenAid and Kenwood. If you'd like to see more cooking, baking and unboxing videos then start right now by subscribing and turning on the notification bell. The first thing I've noticed about the mixer is it's very light in weight. On the box it says stand mixer for kneading, baking and whisking. There are 8 speed settings, a 5 litre bowl, 650 watt motor, the bowl is made out of stainless steel and the mix comes with a 3 year guarantee. The price will vary depending upon which country you'll be buying it in. The first thing we find upon opening the box is an instruction manual in various different languages and a clear plastic splash guard with a pouring spout. The mixer body is protected by cardboard inserts so it's good to see that the majority of the packaging on this mixer can be recycled. The mixer has a protective bag around it and inside the bowl itself we can find the attachments. I was surprised to see that all the attachments are made out of steel. I was surprised because at this point I was expecting the paddle to be at least plastic for such a low budget mixer. The power switch has 8 speed settings which are all clicked to. It doesn't have a progressive power slider that you would see in more expensive mixers. The arm is released via the button next to the power switch. Underneath the mixer there are four sucker cup feet that should give some extra stability and a nice cable storage area. Powering on there is a noticeable wobble from the mixer with the various attachments on and the noise from the motor isn't overly loud. With the mixer running with ingredients inside the bowl, it does still wobble a bit. I have had to hold the top of it to keep it still enough to shoot a video, especially when the bread dough was being mixed. If you'd like to see more cooking, baking and unboxing videos, then start right now by subscribing and turning on the notification bell. The sound of the motor does change under load, but the motor doesn't sound like it's struggling to cope with any of the loads I did in this test. All in all, I think this is a really good mixer for the price paid. Remember that the price is much less than what you'd even pay for an attachment on a premium mixer, so that does need to be factored in. To make a fair bench test, I will use the mixer under normal circumstances to see if it will last the full warranted three years. The criteria for this test will be fair usage. It will be only used in home environment and not commercially. I'll probably be using it roughly four to six times per month, and I will not be using anything that could potentially overload the mixer. I hope you find this unboxing video informative and helpful and to see the mixer in action plus more cooking and baking be sure to like, share and subscribe and why not check out one of the videos on screen now.